Hey, what is up everybody? We are here back at well, Islands of Adventure and we are here for EPA. I'm gonna see what changes, if there's anything, kind of walk you through what are best practices when heading to EPA. On a side note, look how sweet my room is. It's literally like, right, the lobby's right there. Like the food, everything's right there. Like, look. You can't get any sweeter. So the time right now is about 6.50. We're gonna do EPA. We're here at Cabana Bay and I'm gonna show you what you can get for breakfast. Uh, Cabana Bay opened up a new restaurant earlier this year. It's called Shake's Malt Shop, but they do have breakfast sandwiches. And the good news is that they open at 6.30, so you can get breakfast uh, before the Bayline Diner opens. So you can kind of head out really early. Because as you can see, Bayline Diner does not open until 7, so you're kind of stuck waiting. So you have to make that tough choice of do you want to eat here or do you want to head to the parks? Because really, everybody is probably already heading to the parks. That would be the best decision because Eating here is going to take a little bit of time and you want to already be at City Walk already because the buses fill up and they can get pretty crazy. And this is the malt shop I was telling you about. They actually have breakfast here. So they have sometimes a bacon and egg cheese croissant and then a ham and cheese croissant. So you can kind of grab it and go and head on out to the parks really, really quick. Now, one of the breakfast places you can get in City Walk is Starbucks Coffee. They actually serve breakfast besides coffee, but yeah, that's a quick kind of snack just to grab and go. Personally, I would advise you if you have your own vehicle, just drive to the parks. It's faster, easier, it's less hectic. I can tell you every time I ride the bus for EPA, it just gives me anxiety because it's usually jam packed in there and it's not a fun ride by any means. But obviously, if you traveled here and you don't have a vehicle, the bus is fine for that. As well as you can get breakfast at Hard Rock and Tucson's as well, but Tucson's, what I heard, it's only on the weekend, so be advised. And shout out to Thrills Taste Travels. Uh, it's a good buddy of mine that runs a Instagram channel all about all the new food offerings that happen at the parks and all around Orlando. He let me know that Moe's here in City Walk is gonna be offering breakfast. And some of their two options they have right now is a breakfast burrito and a breakfast bowl. I'm gonna see how well it is, especially for, you know, there's not too many kind of quick serve options when it comes to breakfast that's gonna fill you up pretty good. We're gonna see if this is gonna be really good or not. We're gonna see. Interesting enough that it comes with chips. I, I don't know why. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> and this is the size of the burrito. It's pretty small in comparison to their normal burritos. I would say it's like a, maybe a kid size burrito. Came out to about nine bucks with my discount. So I got the steak and I guess steak, bacon, egg, potatoes in there, cheese, tomatoes. I mean, that's a lot jam packed into a burrito. Let's see if it's good or not. If you're looking for to be just jam packed on like protein, carbs, this is it. It's just missing some kind of sauce or something in it because it's very dry. Um, it definitely needed like some sour cream or some kind of, I don't know, like a spicy something to go into it um, that would have broke up the dryness from like the potatoes and the steak and uh, the bacon. But overall, pretty good so far.
So one of the breakfast places you can eat inside of here is the Crescent Moon Bakery, which has sort of breakfast sandwiches, pastries, all types of stuff like that, coffee, water, juice. And this one is actually located, as soon as you walk into the uh, port of entry, it is on your right hand side. So that is one breakfast spot that you can hit up. As well as on your left, there is a Starbucks and a Cinnabon that offers breakfast. Normally, these two locations offer breakfast for EPA. Just wanted to stop and say it is a beautiful morning here at Islands of Adventure. Wow, couldn't ask for better weather for a start of the day. And sadly enough, Marvel Superhero Island is not a part of EPA. That actually opens when the park opens, so you're gonna head towards the right and that is where they're going to separate EPA people from non-EPA people. So make sure you have all your credentials ready to be shown to the team members. That way you can get inside and explore Wizarding World of Hogwarts or Wizarding World of Harry Potter if you want to say it that way. Now up ahead is where you're going to split off. If you are not staying on site hotel, you are not a pass holder, you cannot participate in EPA, but that doesn't mean you can't get into the park. Obviously, I showed you all of Port of Entry is open. You can go inside the stores. You can check out the other stores, the Christmas store, which I kind of like it. And you can also grab breakfast and kind of just chill and relax until nine o'clock because EPA is only an hour. So you can kind of just chill out for that time. Uh, but up until then, that is what you do or unless you want to head up and do non-EPA split off and you're just going to do a waiting area up in Seuss Island is where you're just going to hang around and wait. This is why it's important that we record these at least every year because they change things. This used to be the way for EPA but they swapped it. Now if you're EPA you head straight. If you're non-EPA you're going to head straight that way. I don't think I've seen Hogwarts or the Wizarding World of Harry Potter be this empty because everybody else is doing Velocicoaster or Hagrid's. So if you want, you know, great pictures and freedom to do whatever in this land, do EPA and just head straight for everything else here. Wow. And look how empty it is over here. You never see this, except for EPA time. Wow, there's literally no one here. So again, if you wanna get like your profile shot with the castle in the background and no one around, this is how you do it, because there's no one here. When do you ever see the bridge this empty? If you wanna get that shot, this is how you do it. EPA, baby. No one. No one. Yeah. Although Three Broomsticks offers uh, breakfast, I wouldn't recommend it. It wasn't the best that I had for the price of it, unless you want to eat inside and just, you know, eat up all that is Wizarding World. I wouldn't recommend it, but that's my opinion. What is yours? Leave it down in the comment section. If you've had a good breakfast here, let me know uh, which, what it was. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to get you an answer for them. I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.